Hey guys, it's July 25th. This is Larry from the Oregon Coast. And uh, guess what that is? That is my first flood and drain aquaponics bed. Anyways, first first of all I made a little stand. Just scrap wood. Bam bam. That, that part was easy. But anyways, I've seen some videos of this stuff and uh, it looked really, really easy to do. And uh, I subscribed to DV, uh, DVD Cowboy's channel and he's got a system like this so I copied his system. I'm like, oh yeah, that looks nice and easy. So, anyways, it wasn't so easy. I had a hell of a time trying to get this thing to siphon, to start the siphon and to stop the siphon. Anyways, I'm going to go over some of the parts. Um, some of the parts. Here's a standpipe, one inch TA to a one inch three quarter reducer to a one inch coupling on top. It's going to sit just like that. Here's my drain pipe, one inch. And I found it critical to have these short 90s on it, for me anyways, for my system, to get it to work. So this is going to fit right on the bottom of the bed. It's going to thread right on top. And then I have my auto siphon. And I had a hell of time, probably about a week of thinking around this thing to get it to work, but uh, I had to watch a bunch of videos back and forth, back and forth, and uh, finally got this thing to work. So basically I scrapped my uh, NFT system and uh, it, it was still growing, but it was really slow, and then uh, I wanted to to grow lettuce in the uh, winter time and I got salmon season coming right around the corner so I don't want to be messing with this stuff during when I should be fishing so anyways I'm going to get this thing set up and we'll do a quick water test and show you guys how this thing works and right, just about there water slowly starting to drain out and just a second keep just looking over there we go it holds about five gallons of water. And it is really coming out. I've uh, seen a lot of videos on this stuff, but when you see it in person, it's pretty, uh, pretty impressive. All right, just about empty. This bad boy holds about five gallons of uh, water. And now, Come on. That's music to my ears after messing with this thing for a good week. And uh, last night I ran it for about an hour with the uh, with my pump and uh, worked out pretty good. So I'm going to clear out spot my greenhouse and uh, get this bad boy set up. So see you in a minute. Alright guys, I finally got this set up in my uh, little hoop house. And I grabbed a couple of, uh, other day when I went down the river, I grabbed a couple five gallon buckets of uh, river rock. Um, cheap and easy, it's a little bit heavier. But according to my uh, redneck calculations, I should uh, should be pretty close. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop in this uh, hydrogen, hydrotten, or I just call them clay balls. But um, anyways, I think one of the things I was, you know, was was being cheap, but also, uh, you know, rocks they do have some minerals in them, so I'm wondering if that's going to help help out with the system or not. So that's another reason why I wanted to use this stuff. So all right, I'm gonna jump, um, jump. I'm gonna dump in these uh, clay balls in here. I'll set the pump up and uh, get this baby cycling. All right, here we go. This is where the magic happens, right here. 10 watt, 185 gallon per hour, submersible pump. Got a little filter in there, works out pretty good. About every couple of weeks, uh, pop her off, give her a good cleaning, and shove her back in there. Yeah, really reliable. Made in China, but uh, so far I've had pretty good luck with this pump, so I'm keep on. I'm going to continue to keep on using this. Bit. All right, well I got the pump going. Just got some black poly line here. And I'm just gonna lay it on top for a while to uh, get this baby cycled. You can see the water slowly coming up. So 
take a minute or two before it comes up there. But basically, I just wanted to grow some lettuce. And uh, well, my goal is trying to grow lettuce uh, throughout the fall and winter. Having some and this uh, aquaponics seems to, the lettuce does really, really good in it. So, and plus, I like using the fish water for um, <clears throat> the rest of my garden. And I also use it in my uh, compost tea. So, should be getting pretty close. Water's coming up, coming up. And uh, this is the boring part. There you go. I'm probably gonna use a little bit more clay balls there. Came up a little short on my wag, but uh, that's all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy some more. Okay, now the water's starting to come over the standpipe, and uh, I'm gonna take a second and it's gonna start shooting out. Boom! Look at that thing go. Now it still holds about five gallons of water. So, um, this is 25 gallon fish tank. And ideally, you probably want one to one, but I'm just going to do this one bed and see, uh, try to figure out how this stuff works. And, uh, and go bigger. Alright, siphon is off. <laughs> you know how happy I am to see that right there. I had a heck of a time, heck of a time, uh, getting this baby to stop. And basically what I ended up doing was uh, that little uh, air tube, that's just air tubing that you use off your um, air pump. Just a little hole on top and, and uh, zip tied it towards the bottom and uh, works like a charm. And one thing I noticed, I had um, Try and get the height there for my uh, bell siphon. I thought for me, um, no more than one inch above your standpipe um, to get the start siphon, get the siphon to start, and then uh, I went like two inches, three inches higher. And I was going up, 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 and no results. And finally, I started coming down, down, down. And then uh, <clears throat> once I got the one inch, <laughs> finally, I got the siphon to start. All right, so I'm just, it is July, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some lettuce in there just to get this thing going. I'm gonna let it cycle for a few days and then uh, I'm gonna rearrange this water water deal, get some more clay balls and uh, get ready to do some fishing. Salmon season is coming and it's supposed to be a really good year. So hope everybody's summer's going really good and uh, next time you see me, hopefully, uh, We'll have this um, bad boy uh, with some lettuce going. Alright guys, take care.